so there's some interest after I made my last animated video about how I got the animations show up behind me. Uh, so this is how I did that using CapCut and Procreate. Welcome to CapCut. This is the video editing software I use, and essentially for this trick, all you need to do is duplicate the video that you want to remove the background from and overlay that video on top of itself. So now you have two of the same video lined up right on top uh, as like a perfect match, essentially. Now what you're gonna do is go into remove background and you have three options here. You got auto removal, you have custom removal and chroma key. Don't waste your time with custom removal or chroma key. Auto removal is fantastic if you're a beginner. I don't know what the other two really do. Um, just, yeah, for the sake of, I don't know why I was showing it off here, but just do auto removal. It just is easier that way. <laughs> So here's me contrasting with the darker background just to show you how the two videos line up. It's not perfect, but uh, we get away with the jank because we're adding the GIFs to it. Anyway, you want to add another overlay and just choose where Jiffy Giffy you want to use. And the way that it's set up now, the image is in front of us. So we go into the layers and we're able to pick one or two. Option two is in front, option one is behind. And that is essentially how you do the editing that I did. So now we are in Procreate. Welcome to Procreate. It is fantastic to have you here with us. And essentially I'm using this segment to show you my quick process about how I animate these things and what you need to do to get these to show up in uh, CapCut later is essentially you need to go and save as an animated GIF and it saves to your photos and you can use that as an overlay. <coughs> right, I'm getting sicker but I have a throat logs in danger. This is how I got the weird glitch effect thing to happen. Um, we're going in to show you where the animation assist is. That way you get to see all your layers and everything. Um, the bread and butter of this whole trick is noise and glitch. Uh, so there is noise and you go and you can change the settings on here. Essentially you have scale, small to big, octaves. I have no idea what that does. Turbulence is more kiki or boba. And here is where you can find the other glitch settings. So you have four different options, artifact, wave, signal, and diverge. Pick whatever one you like. Aesthetic pleasures are subjective. You do you, dog. Here I like diverge the most. That being said, you could also alternatively do glitch and then noise, which ultimately give you a completely different effect. It can work or it kind of can look weird, but I think it's kind of pretty actually. So yeah, I hope this kind of answers some questions or at least provides some light into my process. I kind of am doing this a lot as I go, so I really appreciate your guys' comments and your feedbacks and your encouragement to continue to make these videos. Um, they've been a lot of fun to make and the support has been fantastic. So I'll keep doing them as long as you enjoy them. Uh, I'm gonna go take a nap and fall asleep for two years and I will be back. Good night.